Hi everyone, welcome back to the Bob Soft, where today we have a review of this new Little Snake Project, a fragmented love story written by the Infinite Helix Architect. Little Snake is an experimental and psychedelic electronic IDM music producer who was dropping some music over the past couple years and finally came out with their first full-length debut record, a fragmented love story written by the Infinite Helix Architect. I must say, while I've listened to Little Snake's previous work and thought it was interesting, nothing was there that blew me away. I must say that's all changed on a fragmented love story. This is perhaps one of the most mind-warping and most experimental projects I've heard all year and shows a very promising start for this artist. This album features track after track of new and exciting music with sounds and samples blended together incredibly well. Just about every track has something different and new to offer, such as the chaotic and blown out hang in there, or the echoey and jumpy fever dream. Little Snake really seems to have mastered these serumy bass and synth lines combined with this off the wall and sample heavy percussion. Just take a look at a track like Decimation of Movement Over Time with its booming bass and alien synths and distorted vocals for some of the incredible sounds this album has to offer. So many of these tracks are just so chaotic and all over the place, it's hard to do them justice by describing them here. I would really recommend you go and listen to it yourself. Additionally, this album sees Little Snake collaborating with other artists including electronic legends such as Flying Lotus and Amon Tobin. These collaborators are incorporated incredibly well into Little Snake's style, not overpowering it, but complementing it like a fine wine. I love that Little Snake didn't sacrifice any of the mind-bending experimentation just to fit in with these collaborators. I also think they found a nice balance of just how experimental to be, enough to be interesting and exciting, but not so much that it ruins the experience of the project. There is a moment or two throughout the album where I think the project pulls back a bit too much or happens to go off the rails, but these moments are few and far between, and the album seems to get right back on track shortly after. I would highly, highly recommend anybody check this album out, especially if you're into any kind of experimental electronic music. I don't think you'll regret it. Overall, I'm at a 9 out of 10 on this project. Thanks for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future. Let us know what you think of this series, and if there's any albums you want to see us review. Also, if you've given this album a listen, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you have a good day. Bada bing bada boom.